Montana began regulating um, strip mining, coal mining back in 1971. The legislature adopted um, what was called the Montana Open Cut and Strip Mine Reclamation Act. Um, all lands disturbed by the taking of natural resources shall be reclaimed and the uh, legislature shall provide um, procedures and standards for that reclamation. So we've got a, a real dedicated staff who's trying to, to work hard to both protect the environment and serve the needs of the people of Montana and trying to, to bring sort of a problem-solving mentality to this rather than strictly just regulating but also to allow for human activity in, within that while not compromising the environment. In this process of mining and reclamation they get to see quite a large landscape disturbance and uh, reclamation is part of putting it back together. In, in working with the mine operators, you know, we're out here every month for a general inspection just to see that they're uh, keeping up with the contract they make and their permit. I get information from them on what their capabilities are with equipment and things and I also help to give them suggestions on you know maybe what might be working better. And so we'll, we'll work with DEQ to partner with them, develop those plans uh, and approve those plans and get those implemented especially when it results in something that's more resemblance of what was there pre-mine or has more diversity. Every spring we try to do at least one aerial inspection gives us a better perspective of, of the mines and lets us check the different corners that don't get checked as often. So it's, it's just a good practice. These were all done. This was the first bluff extensions they did. And we had to go through a major permitting effort with the mine and the Office of Surface Mining in order to do that. But just think laying those slopes back at about a five to one, how much more habitat would have been disturbed. We mined through a lot of sand rock areas. What we did, we measured, physically measured what sand rocks were out there prior to mining. And when we replaced them, we used these, basically those were old high walls. You know, it blends in with the topography. If you haven't been here, and know where they are looking to the north here. I don't, I don't know if you can point out which are real and which are man-made. And they had this goal of, this is what we have today. How can we make it better tomorrow? And from a supervisor's standpoint, it's just, it's fun because we sit down and talk about it. We set up the, uh, the sideboards and turn them loose. We always take a step back and look at how we're doing our job and see, even if we think we're doing it reasonably well, are there some things we can fine tune? Are there some things that we can, we can do a little better, maybe do a little more streamlined? This is another area where they've been working on tying in the steeper topography and working on adding more drainage diversity. You can kind of see we've got a lot more features here than you have on some of the older reclamations. Wildlife, especially in the wintertime, uh, they really use that steep slope area, deer in there quite a bit. And you walk it and you can see lots of wildlife sign. Notice in the background here behind me, we, we have a conifer stand. That particular stand was planted, I, I would guess it would be in the late 70s to early 80s. Here you can see how, how things progress. Obviously a lot of personal pride. A lot of this I seeded myself. I, I personally sat on the tractor and seeded it and tweaked the drills and tweak the seed mixes and them kind of things to make it work. But now look at all the trees, forbs, shrubs that over time that have came in naturally. And of course they are more dominant wherever the water ran. It gets a little, and some of them are a lot bigger, smaller. And in time you'll see, it'll just be amazing over time. It's, time is time. It's really incredible to come out here and see the work that's been done and to see all of the people that are working together from the Montana DEQ, the mining companies, and even getting into the middle of things, seeing the reclamationists and the drag line operators and everybody working towards the same goal to protect and sustain the environment and to be able to use it in multiple ways. And then to come out here and see what was once a coal mine is now being used for ag land, uh, cattle grazing, there's wildlife, there's some farming being done, and it's incredible. Most people would come out here and if they didn't know any better would never know that this land had once been mined.